Hello learners, I am Yogesh Kumar, PGT Computer Science from FAPES DPS Kuwait. Today I am here to present a video on basics of word processing. Now let us see what is word processing. Word processing is creation and editing of documents like letters, forms, brochures and web pages etc. using some application program. These documents may also contain formatted text, pictures, tables, graphs etc. Word processing programs also allow us to work with multiple documents simultaneously. They also have the features like spelling and grammar check, automatic correction of spellings and many more features. In today's lesson, we shall learn about MS Word 2007 which is one of the most widely used word processing packages. Now let us start Word 2007. It has got many features as I told you earlier. Now what are these features? We can create letters, reports, newsletters, tables, form letters, brochures and web pages etc. using Word 2007. We can also add pictures, tables and charts to our documents. We can also create books with index, table of contents and cross references and these things are created automatically. We can also perform spelling and grammar checks. We can also work with multiple documents simultaneously and we can print one or more copies of the documents. Now let us see how do we start Word 2007. There are many methods of starting Word 2007. Let us see these methods. The first method is we go to start, then all programs, Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office Word 2007. The second method is to double click on the shortcut on the desktop. Third method is we click at the shortcut which is present on the taskbar. Now let us see the demonstration of all these three methods. Now let us see how can we start Word 2007. The first method that I told you is to go to start button. See this is the start button, click here, then go to all programs, click here and there you see Microsoft Office, this is the button, click here, all the options of Microsoft Office open. Now we want to start Word 2007, so we click here, so Word 2007 starts. The second method is to double click at the icon which is present at the desktop. It is not that it is present at all the desktops, if it is present then we can double click it, you see this button, double click it and then Microsoft Office opens. The third method is to click at the icon which is present at the taskbar. Again it is not that on all the computers you will see this button at the taskbar. If it is present then you can click it and then the word opens. So these are three methods of starting MS Word. Now let us see what are the different components of Word 2007 window. The first is the office button, you see top left corner there is the office button, then there is quick access toolbar, this toolbar is customizable and it contains the very frequently used buttons like it contains save, undo, redo, we can have more buttons on this. It also contains ribbon, this portion is called the ribbon, it contains many tabs home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review and view. On this ribbon, these different tabs have different commands which are grouped together like uh, right now home tab is active, so it contains clipboard, font, paragraph, these are the groups of commands. Now the corresponding commands are grouped here, like here we can see font, font size, increase or decrease font, bold, italics, underline, all these things are available. Similarly suppose we click at the view tab, then the corresponding commands we can see on the ribbon, review tab. We can click any tab. Let us see what are the other tabs which contain some commands. Again we go to MS Word, we start it. Now you see this is the home tab which is active. Then if we click at insert, you see the other commands open up, page layout, the corresponding commands are there, then references, mailings, review, view. Now on this ribbon we can have other tabs also, the other tabs become active with reference to whatever we have selected on the uh, document or whatever we have currently opened up. Let us see an example. In the home tab there is a group font. In the font group we have these different fonts available. We can select the font, we can select the font size, all these things are there. And there we see dialog box launcher. This group of font does not contain all the commands which are uh, visible together. To open the dialog box we can click here and then the dialog box opens and we can simultaneously select many options from this font. Let us see that, 
like here I click at dialog box launcher you see the font dialog box opens. Now, in this dialog box I can select the font any font I can select I can select the font style also regular italics bold and also it gives me the sample how will the font look I can select the size also and you see the effect on the sample then many other things are there we can select the font color we can select underline style single underline double underline dash underline all these things are there we can select the effects also so we can open the dialog boxes there are many other components of word window let's see these components first thing is rulers we have horizontal ruler and vertical ruler using these rulers we can select the margins of the pages top margin bottom margin left margin right margin it also contains status bar on the status bar we can see the page numbers page one of one words how many words are there in the document which language is being used and also which view is available right now which we are looking at it also contains vertical scroll bar it may also contain horizontal scroll bar suppose our document is a very wide document and we cannot see the whole width of the document at the same time then the horizontal bar becomes active right now it is not present because our document contains the portion which is very well fitted in the present display this is the vertical scroll bar it also contains the zoom button we can increase or decrease the display size of the document now this portion this white portion that you see this is called the typing area in the typing area we type all the contents of the document now let us see a demo of creating a document this is ms word now here what we see is this is called the cursor or the insertion point and this i that you see this is called the mouse pointer and wherever we click the uh, insertion point moves there only now let's start typing something now you see the cursor has reached the end of the line i need not press enter to move to the next line as i keep on typing it will automatically wrap the words to the next line as the page does not fit the width of the screen that's why we see the horizontal scroll bar also we can scroll the document you see this uh, zoom button right now it is at 200 percent we can decrease the size this is the display size now the document very well fits in the display window so there is no horizontal scroll bar if i increase this display then you see this horizontal scroll bar automatically appears now let's see this document which we have typed now let me create a spelling mistake here now you see three parts of this document first part is wavy green line underline is there second part in which portion is underlined with red wavy line and third part in which you see this blue underline now what are these first thing is whenever you see there is a green wavy line that means there is a grammatical mistake to correct that mistake what you can do is you can right click and you can see the suggestions which the word is giving it says it has to be to create we also type to create but actually there were two spaces between to and create so it was showing grammatical mistake if there is one space there is no grammatical mistake we have corrected it similarly documents red wavy line it means this spelling mistake this is not the correct word if i right click it it opens the suggestions i can correct it this is document this is the correct word or i can ignore it i can ignore all such words so many options are there which we can learn later but right now let me click at documents so i have corrected my word and then there is newsletters it is blue wavy line now in this newsletters news is a correct word letters is a correct word grammatically there is no mistake here but it suggests that news letters is not fitting here so let us right click it it says it has to be newsletters it has to be a single word i accept this suggestion by ms word now my document has been corrected so this is spelling and grammar check which is automatically provided by ms word now let us see how do we manage the documents in ms word when we say managing the documents it means opening a new document or closing a document starting a new document so all these things are there when you say managing documents or it may be working with multiple documents simultaneously now let's see how do we manage the documents we can create new document by clicking at the office button and then clicking at new or we can press control n we can open an existing document by clicking at office button and then open option or we can press control o 
and we can also save a document using control s or going to office button and clicking at save. Now, here we have to learn there is a difference between save and save as these two options are available when you want to save a document. Now, let us see how all these things work. Let us have a demo. Now, this is a document suppose I want to save it. I go to office button a menu opens I can choose the option save or save as because they are fresh document. So, there is no difference between save and save as I click at save it opens the save as window save as. Now, here I can give a suitable name to my document. Now, let me say demo. Now, where do I want to save it? Now, this is very important because what the students do is they save the documents, but they do not keep track of the place where they save the document. So, we should save our documents in some places where we can easily recover the documents. Let me say on the desktop I want to create a new folder. Let me give it a name demo lecture. Now, I can open this and then file name is demo. Now, let us click at save. Now, the document has been saved. On the desktop we see this demo lecture folder is there. We open it and then we see this demo this document is there which we saved. Let us close it go to word again. Now, if I save this document again this will be saved suppose I make some changes in this. Now, if I save it then I can save it from here save or I can save it from here. If I save it again the document will be saved. Now, let me make some more changes. Now, if I click at save as it will ask me for the document name again. Now, I can save this with a new name let me say demo 1. Now, what happens is see previously I saved the document with the name demo then I saved the document with the name demo 1. Now, when I click at save as then the previous document which was saved with the name demo that remains there and whatever changes have been made those are saved with the name demo 1. So, there is a difference between save and save as first time you save it you click save or save as does not make any difference, but second time when you want to save it if you click at save as then save as means you want to save the document with some new name previous document remains the same. So, there is a difference. Now, let us start a new document to start a new document we can click at office button and then we click at new it will ask me for blank document I say create. So, a new document is created again I can start typing to close a document I can go to close button the document is closed. Now, suppose I make some changes and if I want to close it I say close because some changes have been made and after making the changes the document has not been saved. So, it will ask me for saving the document it will ask me for saving the document do you want to save the changes to demo 1 let me say yes. So, document has been saved and has been closed now I can close the word window also. Now, when we say managing the documents it does not mean that we are working with one document only we may have to work with multiple documents we may have to protect a document protected uh, for modification protected for reading or we can say read only recommended also and also we can protect a document for track changes and comments. Now, let us see how can do this now let us see a demo first let us see uh, protecting a document now suppose I want to open the document which I created I click at open or I can see documents here also demo 1 and demo let me open demo 1. Now, this document opens anyone can open this document and anyone can make the changes. Suppose I want to protect this document. So, what I can do is I go to save as and here I see this tools option I click at tools general options then in general options it will ask me for password to open. I can give a password so that only the person who knows the password can open it. Now, let me say a b c d this is the password to open password to modify now let me say w x y z w x y z I say ok re enter password to open for uh, confirming the password password to open is a b c d ok Con re enter the password to modify w x y z I can give any password ok now save it now suppose I close it and again I start ms word I want to open the document again demo 1 it will ask me for the password. Now, my document has been protected only the person who knows the password can open it 
if I want to give the password to someone else, I can give the password and anyone who knows the password can open it and any person who does not know the password cannot open it. Now, let me give the password A, B, C, D, okay. password to modify. Suppose password to modify is not known, then I can click at read only. Now, the person who opens this and has not given the password to modify cannot modify this document. Suppose some changes are made and then the person tries to save this document. It will not allow the document to be saved with the same name, save it does not allow because the document is read only. Cancel it. I cannot save the changes, close it. Do you want to save the changes? No, I do not want to save the changes. Now, let me open the document once again, open demo 1. Last time it was open as read only, do you want to open as read only again? Let me say no, I want to modify it. So, password to open the file A, B, C, D, okay. password to modify W, X, Y, Z. Now, if I make the changes and I try to save it, it will allow me to save the document has been saved now. So, if I know the password, I can save the document, I can make the changes in the document. So, this way I can protect my document and another part of protecting the document is making it read only. Now, let us see how can we make the document read only. Now, there is a difference. One thing is I want to protect the document for read only, I want to protect the document by giving the password or I want to protect the document for modification also. Again, let me repeat these three things. I want to protect the document with a password, password for read only, password for modification and I want to protect my document without the password. Without the password, if I protect my document, then it can be opened in read only mode. No one can modify it. Now, let us see. Let me start a new document now. Save as, I am giving it any name. Actually, we should give some suitable name to documents. I want to save it here only in the demo lecture. Tools, general options. I do not want to give any password. I say read only recommended. Okay, save it. Now, let me close this document. Close this also. Now, let me open it. This document I want to open. Protect should be opened as read only unless changes to it need to be saved. Open as read only, it will ask me. If I say yes, it will open as read only. If I say no, then it is not read only, I can make the changes. So, this is to protect the document against any accidental changes. So, this way we can protect the documents and also we can work with multiple documents at the same time. Suppose this is a document, at the same time I want to open another document. So, this document is open, let not open this one, open demo. So, this document has been opened. Now, there are two documents which I can see at the taskbar. If I go there, you see it shows me two documents, demo is open and protect is open. I can work with anyone or I can work with both simultaneously. I can go to view and then arrange all. If I say arrange all, you see this window splits. First, I see the protect document, down I see the demo document and also I to increase the visible size of the window, what I can do is I can remove this ribbon minimize the ribbon. Here also I can say minimize the ribbon, you see minimize the ribbon. If you click there, then the ribbon is minimized, only the menu is displayed different tabs, minimize the ribbon, you see. Like this, we can see multiple documents at the same time. If there are many more documents, again I can say view and then arrange all, when I say arrange all and then all the documents are arranged this horizontally, let not save it. So, this way we have seen how to work with multiple documents. We can view multiple documents simultaneously, protecting a document. We can go to office button, save as, tools, general options. We can give password to open, we can give password to modify and we can say read only recommended also. And we can also protect a document for track changes and comments. This we have not seen, let us see a demo of this also. For this we go to review, tracking and track changes. We use this thing when we want someone else to check our document and proofread it. Suppose I have written a book which contains many pages, 10, 20 or let me say 50 pages. I want someone to edit this book and whatever changes that person makes, I want to see all those changes. For that, I can say review, track and track changes. Now, let us see how, let us see how can we do this. I start word again, minimize the ribbon, I deselect it, I open a document. 
let me say demo i opened it i go to review then i say track changes i click it now whenever some changes made to this those changes will be tracked now let me say that allows let me convert it instead of that i want to write which you see the change it has cut that and it has written which so it means earlier there was that now it has been made which suppose i want to make it bullet list it keeps a track so all these tracks are made there it keeps track of the changes which have changes are made and also we can put the comments comment i can write the comment now you see the utility of this thing what happens is whenever i write some document the document may contain some errors there may be something which can be improved i want to give this document to someone else for editing and that person edits the document if i cannot see what changes have been made in the document then it is very difficult for me to see what document is correct what corrections have been made whether i want to keep those corrections or not and if track changes have has been done there so it tracks the changes which have which have been made and then i it is up to me whether i want to accept those changes or not now let us see how can we accept or reject the changes track changes now i go there this is the accept button accept and move to next change or accept change or accept all the changes in the document let me say accept all the changes so all the changes have been accepted now that has been replaced by which and this has been made a bulleted list and then i can remove the comment also delete this comment so comment has been deleted so this way i can correct my document with the help of someone else also so this way we have seen how to protect a document and how to keep track of the changes which have been made to the document now let's see how can we print the document again we shall see a demo suppose i want to print this document i can go to office button i can click at print it opens a print dialog box in this print dialog box i can make the changes name of the printer i can select if my computer has only one printer attached to it then the same printer is there otherwise i can select any of the printers which have been attached suppose my computer is on network and that network contains five printers and i can select any one printer on which i, I want my document to be there so name of the printer i can select and then page range do i want to print all the pages or the current page only or i want to give some page numbers i want to print page numbers from 5 to 8 only or i want to print current page so all these things page range i can select print what the document what do you want to print all pages in the range or odd numbered pages only or even numbered pages only so this thing also can be selected and the number of how many copies you want to print 1 2 3 4 you can get any number of copies that you want to print pages per sheet on one sheet how many pages should be printed one page scale to no scaling or i can scale my page on the word to the page on the printer let these are different paper sizes and then if i click at okay my document will be printed right now because there is no printer attached so i am clicking at cancel so this way we have seen that we can do many things with ms word 2007 and also for all these operations there are many shortcuts also now let's see what are those shortcuts keyboard shortcuts now these shortcuts are like this control a to select all the the complete document the whole document control c is to copy control x is to cut control v is to paste control b control u control i to make the portion of the document bold underline italics then left alignment center alignment right alignment or justify it control n is to create a new document control o is to open a document and control w is to close the document control z is there for undo and control y is there for redo so these keyboard shortcuts are also available which make the job of working with documents easier now let us see what you have learned in this video in this video you learned about ms word 2007 you learned how to start ms word 2007 its various components how to open and close a document using various tabs on ribbon and the use of rulers etc you also learned how to work with multiple documents how to protect documents and how to print documents using ms word thank you